head over to the bike path and walk straight down to the lake. Downtown living is fabulous. There we go. I'm just trying to give you an idea what the front porch looks like. And we're heading in the front door. Look, slate floor in the entry. That's Brazilian cherry right there. So here we are. As I said, built in 1914. It's got a lot of the original charm still. Look at the staircase going up. We're gonna go up there after. Okay, so back in the day, this used to be called the parlor. This is a wood-burning airtight stove that's in this room. And it's a really cool room to sit in and read, as you can see, beautiful chaise. And that's the airtight right there. This is the, my favorite room in the house, other than the master bedroom, which you'll see. But this is a pretty much a great room. You can do anything in this room. It's a great family room. We've got a gorgeous window seat. Where do you see these window seats anymore? This is all old fashioned charm for sure. So you take a look at this. Beautiful piano, doesn't stay with the house. And just back you up here, because you can see that's how you actually get into the kitchen area. So I'm gonna take you this way. Okay. While we're here, let's take a peek out back. Come and take a look. So from the back door, now we're in the eating area of the kitchen, which is spectacular. So this is a quartz countertop that was just installed. As I mentioned, there are lots of smart features in this home. We have stackable washer and dryer, as you can see. And this is actually pretty cool because there's a side entrance to this place so there's a separate entrance down to the basement in case you had you know it's just a little bachelor pad down there if you had a family member teenager or whatever that you want to take down there this is another shot from the kitchen this is the master suite this is one of the smartest things i've ever seen one of my homeowners do in this style of home they didn't try and make a room up there because usually it only ends up being good enough for small children because it's not that tall. They actually just blew the ceiling out and that's a lofted storage area, which is totally fabulous. Let's go look and see how you get up there. You never know what kind of features you're going to find in an old house. This is how you get up to that lofted area. Let's go. Okay, as I said, this is only for storage up here, but you can get an idea what it's all about. We've got skylights up here that have auto closure blinds. And here's a shot of the master from above. To be honest, I really can't tell which room I like the best. Red is my favorite color, so obviously I think this one's pretty cool. This is the second largest bedroom. Older homes always have such interesting shapes in the rooms because of dormers, etc. So this is kind of a neat room. A little bit of a nook there for the bed which is very cool and this here is the smallest of the four bedrooms if you're looking for a four bedroom century home they're not that prevalent here's a shot from the upper bedroom window of the backyard this has all just been re-landscaped it's beautiful here's the ensuite bath watch what happens when I walk in the door ah, there go the lights Everything is automated in this bathroom. It's all smart features. The toilet is a Japanese style. There we go. Sconces on either side. Double head shower. Heated towel racks. Heated floors. We just took a look at the ensuite and this is the main bath here. You can see again the slate floors and they've taken it actually right up the walls. The floors and the walls are heated. As you can see on the sign, 534hager.ca, this price on this home is 1.18 million. This home is it's priceless. It's the Henry Blair house built in 1914. There's some terrific history about Come it. Come on over and see me.